espionage, sabotage, information warfare, security breaches. Today's terminology for today's modern battle. Skirmishes fought in front of computer screens and mainframes. We must become a global cyber power. It is possible. We aren't crawling, we're up on our feet walking, and soon we'll have to run forward because that's the nature of this field. Israel's top intelligence and defense figures gathered at this cyber warfare conference to address the implications, significance and direction cyber warfare is taking in today's world. Israel is considered one of the top cybersecurity and warfare leaders alongside countries like Russia, China and the U.S. Accordingly, the government is investing money into this realm. Threats in this cyberspace are new and we are not accustomed to deal with these threats and we have to do something to, to block it before it be becomes a huge problem. Cyber warfare includes intentional hacking and stealing information like security clearances, codes or financial data. Or planting malware and viruses that can shut down a country's entire electric grid, intelligence operation or airport. Last year, the planted Stuxnet virus shut down Iran's nuclear facility, a setback experts say will take two years to recover from. The experts at this conference say breaching cybersecurity isn't that tough. The person sitting next to you at the cafe could be hacking into your government's intelligence database or even getting into your bank account while you sip on your cup of coffee. And the people who know that best are world leaders jumping to the fore to take preventative action against threats. In Korea and also in Israel as well as in the world, now we are facing a lot of uh, this, uh, the cyber related uh, crimes. How we can promote international uh, uh, cooperation uh, to uh, deal with uh, this kind of matters. That's why I'm here. This gifted 15 year old admits he's capable of hacking into systems if he wants to. The potential damage is the reason he's at this conference. I hope I'll help defend and attack the attackers of my country and such and help with the security and against um, harming citizens. By the time he enters the workforce, cyber warfare will undoubtedly be at an entirely different level altogether. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, Tel Aviv.